Hi everyone, I'm Sam here with a very simple uh, Sony Vegas tutorial and today I'm going to be cloning myself in Sony Vegas but if you don't have Sony Vegas and you're thinking oh man I'm not going to be able to clone myself don't worry because I'm doing this tutorial in Adobe After Effects CS4 as well and if you've got CS3 then it works in that I don't know about the other Adobe After Effects is because I've never used those ones um, but it does work in this one and if you can hear in the background they are fireworks outside because it's bonfire night in England and there's lots of fireworks coming off everywhere okay so just quickly um, I'm gonna put a link on the screen somewhere so if you don't have Vegas but you have After Effects then um, you can click the link and go watch that tutorial but if you do have Vegas and you don't have After, um, After Effects then stay on this tutorial oh and finally if you uh, do have After Effects and Adobe After Effects I suggest you go look at the After Effects one because the After Effects is a bit more uh, well After Effects is obviously a bit more better um, so go watch that one okay so let's just get straight into this tutorial so we're going to clone myself so I'm going to drag in my footage now I film one long piece of footage basically because um, I didn't move the camera when clicking record and if we move the camera when I click record then it's going to basically ruin the effect so I've done it in one uh, long strip and I'm going to cut it down now so we'll make it into uh, two videos so I find where I'm sitting down and split that using the S button on the keyboard delete and then find it when I get up I'm going to get up and move to a different place so there split by S again go across until I get to the new um, position I'll mess around here for a second there, split ok so now we have two separate clips and we're going to drag this clip underneath there's the firework there you go that's me getting up and we're going to drag this in so it's the same size check that I'm not standing up through this one Hang on. there we go, ok that's fine ok so now we have two clips, one on top of the other, the same size but if we look you can't see myself in two different places um, you can just see me on the right side and not on the left side so how do I get myself to be on the left side uh, which is going to give the effect that I am cloned which is pretty cool well we're going to click event, event pan slash crop which is this little button here and we're going to click mask which is down below enable the masking tool and I'm going to make a mask around my body now you can go around each place and then you know join it all up put the shadow in for effect and then go through to the next frame and do it again next frame do it again you could do that but it's going to take a long time to do and I haven't got much time to do this tutorial I want it short and snappy so I'm just going to go around like this which you can do anyway I'm just going to make that a bit straighter if I can okay if you look at the screen up here now you'll see me here which is me in a different place in the same room which must only mean one thing that I have been cloned that's right but um, I'm gonna go a bit more advanced here because I'm gonna do it <laughs> if you look here uh, you can just leave it like this and you're thinking well that's a pretty cool effect I'm in two different places but if you look extremely closely you will see the line where I've uh, cut it and uh, this side is light and this side is a bit darker is there a way to fix that? yes we're going to do that now, we're going to go to video effects and oh, we are already on the colour corrector <laughs> sorry I'm uh, verbally dyslexic I'm only joking okay so I'm going to drag studio RGB to computer RGB I'm going to tell you, I would tell you what that means, but I don't know. I just know it works for what I want to do. So I'm going to drag that into the top one, which is lighter. There's a lot of fireworks going off right now. Okay, and we're going to mess around with the settings a bit. And if you look there, that's not what we want. Let's bring that down a bit. And just mess around with the settings until it looks 
uh, basically more like that side if you know where I'm going with this okay so now when you look now um, you can still see a bit of a line but that will go when you render um, you've got this side looking a bit more like that side and now you're cloned and that's basically how you clone yourself we can drag a bit of colour correction into the lower one as well if we wanted to just not too much basically you can have fun with it, just mess around with the settings until you've got it the way you want it to be yeah <laughs> so basically that's how you clone yourself in Sony Vegas you don't have to mess with the colour correction but it's gonna make it look better and you can probably see them dash, uh, dash lines sorry you may not have heard me very well there you, can, you may be able to see these dash lines but believe me when I say they will go when you render uh, if you don't know how to render click file render as and then wait a second and then you can render it. Uh, if you want to make it into HD, I'm going to make a tutorial on how to render in HD again in Sony Vegas and After Effects. Okay, hope that tutorial helped you in how to clone yourself. Uh, it's really simple and a really cool effect. So I hope you try it out in your videos. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm Sam. Go check out the After Effects tutorial if you're interested. And uh, yeah, cheers. Subscribe.